California lawmakers are considering a proposed ban on tackle football for kids under 12 years old. William Lajeunesse is in Los Angeles to look at both sides in this legislative line of scrimmage. A million children ages five and up play tackle football in the U.S. California aims to change that. Kids only have one brain, they only have one life, and there's irreversible damage to kids' brains that is totally unnecessary. Assemblyman Kevin McCarty's bill bans tackle football for children under 12 or roughly seventh grade. Five, six, seven, eight, 11 year old um, should not be experiencing hundreds of sub-concussive hits to the head on an annual basis when there is an alternative. Supporters, even this former college player, cite the risk. It is a very dangerous and violent sport. There's no if, ands, or buts about that. Repetitive head impacts, regardless of impact severity, lay the foundation for brain injury. But football, opponents say, is unfairly singled out. There's been no pressure to limit participation in lacrosse, soccer, or ice hockey, which all have concussion rates similar to youth tackle football. I'm Sam Boyce. I play for Bear River Junior Bruins, and I strongly oppose this bill. Many parents see this as yet another government attack on their rights to decide what's in their child's best interest. They also say the bill robs those in the poorest neighborhoods an opportunity. Youth tackle football is embedded in these communities and it is the lifeblood and it serves as a vehicle to education, opportunity, alternatives to some really negative activities. A Washington Post poll found a majority of conservatives favor youth tackle football, Liberals do not. Now, Democrats outnumber Republicans three to one in the state assembly and Senate. I'm told the vote this week could be close, likely Thursday. In Los Angeles, William Lajeunesse, Fox News.